Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will go through chapter 7, which is about curtain walls. Well, curtain walls are large glass walls with mullions, and we will use the wall tool in Revit to create those. So, in commercial templates, we have three curtain wall types, curtain wall, exterior glazing, and a storefront. Now, what's the difference between these walls? Well, let me show you an, uh, an image so you can understand the difference better. Well, from left to right, the first image is curtain wall. Well, curtain, uh, curtain wall has no grids or mullion, as you can uh, as you can see here. So this wall type actually provides the most flexibility. But in using this type, you need to create everything yourself. So that might not be a suitable choice for fast and speedy modeling. The middle one is exterior glazing. It has preset grids, and if the grids are not suitable, you can change them. And the last one here is storefront. Well, it has preset grids and mullions, and again, if the settings are not suitable, you can change the grids and mullion. Now let's move on to the next slide. Well, a curtain wall has four primary elements, which are wall, panel, grid, and mullion. And to edit them in Revit, you must select them individually. So this might seem challenging at first to you, but you can use the tab key to cycle through and select a specific part of a curtain wall. Well, from the left, when these dots, uh, these dot lines appear, that means you have selected the whole curtain wall. Well, using the tab key, you can cycle through to select the mullion on the second image, this one. And next image shows a panel being selected. And the last image, this dashed line, um, actually shows you have selected a grid, a grid line. Okay? You get familiar with these as you start working on your assignments as well. Now let's create a curtain ball. Well, for that, you need to just use just the regular architectural wall tool. So I'm going to click on the wall tool, and here from the type selector, you just need to select curtain wall and just draw the wall. Now, if I switch to 3D view, you can see that we have a blank uh, wall here with no grids, no panels, and mullions. Okay? Now, if I want to add a curtain grid to this blank curtain wall, you need to use this tool, okay, in the ribbon. So just select this, and then you just need to click to add grids to your wall. If I switch to the elevation, you can see this better. Okay, now we have our grids. Now, if you want to move these grids, you can either grab them and just move them, or you can just use these temporary dimensions, okay? So, let me show you again. If I hover over this grid, you can see this dashed line, and that shows uh, our grid line, okay? And if I hit tab, then this is the whole curtain wall, and this one shows uh, the panel, so I can click and just select it. Now, if you decided, just decided to swap this panel with a wall, you can simply just select it and then change its type to a wall, just a regular wall. Okay, so I can select on any wall, and you can see that it, it has changed. Well, let me undo this. Okay. Now that we have our grid, uh, grids and panels ready, we can add mullions. And for that, you can use this other tool on the ribbon, which is uh, curtain ball mullion. Okay, so just click. And then you need to just uh, click on the grids you have, and it will add the mullions to your model. And that's it. 
Well, here you can see that mullions are all cut at grid intersections, okay? So, so this way, actually, you can easily select when and just delete it, okay? And it's gone. But as you can see, the grids actually are different. And this grid con, uh, actually goes along this uh, panel from left to right. And these other grids come from top to bottom. Okay, so these are different from the mullions. Well, if you go to level one, this is how mullions will look like in your floor plan. Okay, so now this time we are gonna insert a storefront curtain wall. Well, before that, let me just insert a regular exterior wall, and then I'm going to place the storefront inside of it. So, actually, I'm going to insert two so because I'm gonna show you something let me add two exterior walls okay and as, as I said before the storefront is gonna be like a completed curtain wall with every element just in place so select the wall tool again, and this time instead of the curtain wall, we're going to use storefront, okay? Now let's see what we have in instance properties. Now, if you think of a curtain wall just like a window, then this base offset represents the seal height and the top constraint and unconnected um, height actually represent the head height of the window, okay? So if you don't want your curtain wall to start right off the floor, you can add a value here. So I'm going to add two feet, for example. And for now, I don't want the head of my curtain wall to be connected uh, to a level. So I'm going to leave the top constraint unconnected. And I want its height to be six feet, for example. Now let's take a look at the type properties of our storefront. If you go to edit type, you can see that the function is set to exterior. Uh, and well, actually here we have options for um, changing the Moolean shape. We have options for uh, grid spacing that we can change them, okay? And one more thing here is automatically embed okay this option now let's see what is this option if this is checked like right now and it's actually checked by default let me hit ok so when it's checked if you place your storefront inside of a wall you already have it will be easily placed uh, in it just like what we had for windows or doors, okay? But let me select the wall tool again and go to edit type. And this time I'm gonna duplicate this and then uncheck this uh, uh, automatically embed option, okay? And then hit okay. Now, if I wanna insert this curtain wall this time, this time Revit shows an error saying that highlighted walls overlap. So Revit cannot actually embed the curtain wall in the original wall you had and count them as two separate walls which are overlapping. So make sure this automatic uh, embed option is checked in your edit type. Now, when you are in floor plan view, if you select the curtain wall, you see this flip arrow again that shows the exterior side of the curtain wall, okay? So, just like a regular solid wall. 
So now the glass side is on the exterior side, okay? So if I go to 3D view, this is what we just created. Uh, well, you can see that our curtain wall is added to the original solid wall. So when we inserted this curtain wall, our original wall was not deleted, okay? Now, if we want, we can edit this storefront and add a horizontal grid to it using this curtain grid. Well, because curtain walls are actually a type of walls, all the options we have for editing editing a wall apply to curtain walls as well. Like, for example, edit profile or attach top or base. Now, let's create a storefront. I'm going to to level one. I'm going to choose a storefront and I'm going to set height to 12 feet this time. Now let's go to 3D view. Okay. Now I'm going to give you some important information about curtain walls and specifically storefront because you're going to use this for your homework assignment. Okay. So the first one. If you want to edit a mullion or a grid, you need to select, or just a panel, you need to select and first unpin them, okay? So, this way you are making them editable, okay? So now, for example, if I want to delete this mullion, if I hit delete, I cannot do that, okay? But as soon as I check this pin and unpin it and hit delete, I can delete it. Now, what if I want to move this mullion? Well, again, I'm not able to move this, even when it's, uh, it is unpinned, okay? Even when it's unpinned, I cannot move it. So, the rule here is, and make sure to write this down and circle it. In Revit, whenever you want to move a mullion, you need to move the grid. You cannot move a mullion itself. Now, let me move this grid and show you how that works, okay? So, select, hit tab, so you can select the grid. So, just unpin the grid and then move it, okay? And as you can see, the mullions will be moved automatically. Okay. Well, the next important thing to edit a part of a grid in Revit, for example, let's say you want to delete a part of a grid, you need to use add or remove segment tool on the ribbon. Okay. Again, I'm going to show you how that works. So for example, I want to delete this segment. I want to delete this segment of the horizontal grid so i can have a big vertical panel over here instead of having two separate panels so just select the grid hit tab select the grid and then just click on add or remove segments and then click on this part that you want to be uh, you want it to be removed and then this continuous line shows our grid and this dashed line represents the part of the grid which is gone, which is deleted. So as you can see, the mullion is gone as well, automatically. So the three rules were, one, to edit a mullion or a grid, you need to unpin them first, okay? Two, to move a mullion, you need to move the grid. And three, three, to edit a part of a grid, use add or remove segment tool in the ribbon, okay? So now, as I said before, because curtain walls are a kind of wall, all the options we have for editing the wall apply to curtain walls as well. So now I'm going to create an interior partition. And then let me go to level one. I'm going to create an interior partition, just this one, 
and then we'll insert a storefront in it. And I will set the base offset to zero and the height 12 feet. I need to increase the height of the wall. Okay. So now we are going to delete this corner um, using edit profile. So select the wall and just click on edit profile. You can go to elevation view. Okay. And now I'm going to use this line tool to draw the lines. And as you can see, we are in the sketch mode right now. So I'm going to trim this, these extents and then just hit check. And you can deny this. Okay. As you can see, something is wrong in here because it's not like this one. And I think there is an overlap of mullions here. So we have two mullions uh, in here, just selected. Let me go to 3D view, select it, and then unpin and delete it. Okay. Now you can see that our wall is extended to this area and our curtain wall has been kind of trimmed. Now, I want to edit this part so I can have a glass door. The first thing I should do is to de and delete this mullion at the bottom because it's going to be a door and we won't need that anymore. So just click on it, unpin and delete it. The same is for the middle mullion, so just delete it. And then, as you can see, we have two separate panels here, okay, with, uh, with the horizontal grid right here. As I said, in order to add or remove a part of a grid, you just need to select it, and then here click on Add Remove Segment, and just click, and it's gone. So we are no longer seeing the grid line here, and if you click and select this panel, I'm just using the tab key. It's just okay. If you click and select this panel, you can see that it's just one big panel, not two anymore. Okay. And I'm gonna um, delete actually this part as well because I want to have a double door. So. So we have one big panel over here. I forgot to unpin it, so unpin and select it. Unpin. Now, I want to swap this panel with the storefront double door, so I just need to select this. And then, uh, from the type selector, uncheck it, unpin it, and then from the type selector, you can select one from here. For example, we have curtain wall storefront double door, 
okay or i can just select edit type and load a door from here so i can select for example door curtain wall devil glass or a storefront i'm gonna use this one okay and as you can see it's just right here i can change it to this one okay so we have a double door glass uh, glass door here and next we will talk about joining corners of two storefronts so let's draw a storefront again i'm gonna draw a l-shaped one this time so we want to see how, what happens to this corner okay so when we have two storefronts with a 90 degree corner the corner would uh, look like this okay as you can see here if i go to 3d view you can see this actually better okay so now uh, right now two mullions are overlapping over here okay now to fix the way it is showing here just select one of the mullions okay now we need to select this other one as well otherwise only this upper part will change okay and to do that just right click here and select from here select mullions click on grid lines so this way we will select all the mullions on this grid line okay and then unpin this these two and then you need to just change their type to a corner one from here for example i'm going to use this quad corner and then you see that revit prompts me to delete the adjacent mullion so i'm going to hit delete elements and you can see that it has changed okay now we can change the dimensions of these corner mullions from edit type you can also use a uh, control key to select this other one okay and from edit type you can change its dimensions right here okay now there is one more thing that i want to cover about curtain walls and that's allow or disallow joints so let me draw a u-shaped exterior uh, wall and then explain this to you so i'm going to choose an exterior wall And then I'm going to place a storefront in it. Okay. So when I select my first point in a way that it's too close to this adjacent wall, well, let me show that. The curtain wall automatically actually will be extended to this adjacent wall, as you can see here. Okay. And when you want to work with exact dimensions in your project, this is going to be disturbing. So you just need something to turn this off. But fortunately, there is a way to control this and turn this off. Okay. You just need to click on the curtain wall, and from here, this. Um, grip okay just right click here and click on this disallow join okay now if you move this this will no longer just automatically um extend it to this wall so you can select select this and disallow join
And if you want to just activate it again, you can just again right click and allow join. And you can see the difference. So this is what I wanted to cover for chapter 7. Make sure to read the book and your homework exercises for this chapter starts on page 710, 7-10. Uh, so you need to continue working on your law office file and this time you will start adding curtain walls to your floor plan. So have a good one and we'll see you next time.